Hello and thanks for joining me on this video. I'm comparing two motorcycle boots in this one. Oxford Merton motorcycle boots. They're like a casual smart motorcycle boot so they don't look like motorcycle boots but they have protection and they're waterproof. There's two types I'm doing in this video. You can check the chapters to jump to the one you're interested in. But these are closely resembling the same kind of boot. This is the City Denver boot. So I'm comparing that with the Oxford I'm going to quickly show you the sizing, I'm going to speak about the safety features and see if these are worth buying. Are these Oxford Merton boots any good? Well today I'm going to show you a quick overview on my size 7 Oxford Merton brown boots. I'll show you a quick overview of putting them on, the quality, how they feel, the zip on the inside and a little walk around as well to see how they feel when they first come out. It's a thick new leather designed in the UK and it says on the label made in Pakistan. So that's where the leather is coming from. It comes in a nice box which actually has a great presentation idea. So if you're giving it as a gift, it would actually be a great idea. And the box has a nice logo on it, Oxford. Uh, the shoes themselves, they're a brown work style boot. And it will take a little bit of time to actually have this leather become more supple. So it comes with a standard uh, tissue paper inside and a little polyester to keep it in shape. And the box is quite a large box because these are high ankle boots so the reason i looked at these was i wanted a bit of ankle protection and casual look it's got a good grip on the bottom and a good so uh, rubber soil a rubber soil a good rubber sole now looking at these you have got a little bit of extra support on the gear shifter and there is a bit of distressed look on this as well um, I can see that it's got a few blemishes on there, but I think that's part of the blemish look on here. The quality of them, they are a budget boot, so they're not the most expensive. However, you can have them uh, custom made and different options which are a bit more pricey. I'll be looking at those for you as well. So you can see here, putting them on, they are a slightly bigger boot. So I had to loosen the laces, which are also a good quality thick lace. And then uh, use a zip to actually get it in position. So with these boots, if you'll be wearing uh, Kevlar jeans, they can go over them nicely, as well as uh, normal jeans, if that's what you're wearing them for as casual boots. They've got a nice lightweight feel, so they're not that heavy. Uh, they have got the protection in the right places. So you've got your uh, ankle protection, and the boots feel quite nice and secure on the uh, toe cap and the heel. So overall, they're a bit bulky, and a, they feel a bit cumbersome and a bit big to me. Uh, but I don't know if it's the most favourite boots. I'm thinking of having a look at a few other options like the TCX X Blend Aviator makes them as well, which is by Falco the Aviator boot with the double zips. Um, this is like a, a summer slash winter boot, so it is waterproof as well. Overall, the quality of it seems quite nice. I'll show you how it feel and look when you see them uh, being walked about. I am going to use these indoors just to see how they feel and if they are good enough to keep because I don't feel like they're actually up to that standard, so I might get a slightly better pair of boots. Oxford make a budget range of boots, so this is something to keep an eye on, and there are other options out there if you, if you choose to look. So here you can see, they feel like Timberland style boots, but obviously a bit higher with the ankle. I'm wearing some slim fit jeans on these, and on the back I can see some remnants of glue where they've glued the soles on. So there's not much attention to the detail there. So let's have a look at it in terms of walking and looking. So the leather still is a bit stiff, so it's not um, as supple as it would need to be. And from the back, they actually look like Wellingtons. So that's not a very nice, uh, good feel on these. But if you're thinking about these, I will put a link in the description so you can check out the price to see how much they're going for now. And there are some blemishes and marks on these, so they do look like a, a substandard uh, made shoe boot. However, if you're riding them and you've got boots and you get a good deal on them, definitely worth looking at. But this is the first one I'm looking at. There will be a few other boots that I'll be checking out to see what works nicely and what feels nice. Uh, I normally have nice Clark boots that I normally wear and they're really good quality. So I'm kind of comparing these to that kind of quality of workmanship. And they're okay, nothing fancy. They seem nice. They feel a bit airy to me inside. Maybe I could have gone half a size down. I'm a size 7 in everything. But maybe 6.5 would have been better with these because they feel a bit more airy inside. Or maybe a thick pair of socks will sort that out. So here you can see if you do roll up your jeans, you can see a bit more of the boot and see how it looks. The colour of it, there is the option of black and brown. And you can decide which one you want to get in the colour scheme of things. I've got the brown here as you can see. What I'm going to do now is compare these to the next boots that I've got, the City Denver boots. So you may be familiar with City. 
they actually make a good motorcycle range of boots you can see a quick review here of this and i'll go into the detail of the unboxing and i'll try them on and see how they do well so they come in a nice box they have got good motorcycle boots and they do feature the retro boot recipe so you're looking at brown leather lace up front chunky rubber sole and it got a nice uh, few options for safety in these so as we do these i will show you these are a size seven and i normally take a size seven but these felt a little bit roomy for me i'd probably have to wear some thick socks in these um, overall they felt of a good quality compared to the oxford these were a lot better built so the oxford boots looked like the rubber soles were glued on these look like they're stitched on and also they feel a bit more uh, quality overall in terms of the leather and the feel so you'll overall i'll give you a review on these so they're comfortable right away you can wear them straight away they've got a nice grip on the sole they look really nice however the only thing i didn't like about it is it's I don't know, it, did, it just didn't feel like luxury. So you're looking here at about 130, 140 pound uh, motorcycle boots, which is not a lot of money in the grand scheme of things, but I expected a little bit more on these. So in terms of the protection, you've got the EN13634 standard, achieving level two for both abrasion and cut resistance, and level one for the height and transverse rigidity. So, you know, it's it's a good motorcycle boot. It's just down to that look where you don't want to really look like a motorcyclist wearing these. It's got the extra grip in the back, so they're nice and easy to put on. I, I did find them easy to put on, but the waterproofness on these may be questionable because the zip goes up the side. The Oxford had like a flap of waterproof protection membrane. This one doesn't really have that. And the weight of it, I didn't find it too heavy. You're looking at about 100, uh, 850 grams. So it's kind of okay. So I'm a big fan of casual boots and this is something that you can look at. Um, I saw one more video on these boots and they were in black. So I did find that it's got a lot of room in it and it's like you can push it and it feels like very roomy. But overall looking at them while I'm wearing them in a video actually looks very interesting. They do look nice. Uh, when they're in a darker place they look black so they're very dark brown. And I don't like the fact that they look a bit podgy, if that's a word. They kind of have a little bit of air in them. They are new, so they probably need bedding in. Um, overall, these were preferred over the Oxford boots in terms of quality and fitment. Um, but I, I was just thinking they looked a bit, a bit bigger than they needed to be. So think about Timberland boots and how they have the extra roominess on them. Uh, one thing I did like was they were very comfortable. So the actual uh, inner sole has some gel material under the heel and the toes. So it did do well. This is looking straight down at the boots and showing you an overview of the grip. Now the, they're laced and they've got a zip so they work very nicely. They're very easy to take off. And these are city so you know they do perform very well in terms of overall uh, protection. So they've got the standard, like I mentioned, the regulations. Taking them off is another interesting one. You can take the little Velcro strap off the side and zip down. And you can actually just pull your foot out. So these were probably the easiest boots I was able to take off. With a nice gentle push-pull, the boots came off. Um, so it is a top grain leather, so it'll actually be quite thick leather. So it needs time to bed in and obviously fit to your shape of your, your foot. So overall, this seems nice. I think next up, I'm going to get the Aviators, Falco Aviator to see how well those perform. Here's that inner sole I'm talking about, about that gel. I'll take the, the, the inner sole out just to show you that, the what I mean by that. So see this now, there's two sections here with a bit of extra gel. So it makes it feel a lot more comfortable and easy to walk in if you're off on your motorcycle and you don't want to have them on all the time. Um, when you're riding, they'll protect you. When you're walking, they should be comfortable. So that's a quick review of the two boots. I'm showing you a recap here. In summary, Oxford versus City. Mm, well, my decision is if I had to pick out of these two, I would keep the City. And definitely check out the description. I'll give you links to both of these boots so you can check out price on them and see if they're meeting your standards. And hopefully this helps you if you're thinking about these boots. I'll see you on the next video when I do another set of these.